Mr. Wilson? Come on, Dad, remember what I told you. You can do it. It's easy. Head down, soft hands, Dad. You can do it. How embarrassing. Applaud. Sometimes when you think you're helping, you're not. Telling me, Richie, teach your cheek. You're going too front on. There's a difference, mate. What? Back on TV. Noah. Where's Noah? Noah. That's me. I'm on TV now. <laughs> Fuck a lot for lahi out to small blacks. And welcome to meet my mate, Patrick Thupolotu and Kevin Mialamu. Boys, you play for the All Blacks and the Blues. You must know each other pretty well. Yep. Yeah, I reckon we do. Consider yourselves good mates? Yep. Well, we're about to find out just how good of a mate you are, Kevin. <laughs> What's Patrick's favourite meal? Is it chop suey? I like chop suey. Yes. Not many islanders don't. <laughs> what, what would Kevin's favourite meal be? I think meatloaf and mashed potato. How did you know, Patty? Honestly, how did you know? Oh, how did lucky. you know? I think I got lucky there. You got lucky? You've been Googling my mate over here. <laughs> yeah, I have, I have. I have. <laughs> okay, next question. What's his wife's pet name for him? Schnookums? Bubblegum? I think it's Boo. Boo Boo. Boo Boo? I've, I've seen Boo Boo. I've been telling you not to read my text. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that close. You read each other's text messages. You're that close. Is that correct? Boo Boo? That is correct. Boo. 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 Yep. Okay, so. Kevin, what's Patrick's middle name? I know it's Tongan. <laughs> Tongan? No, I don't. <laughs> Step, what is what is the middle what name? What is it? Tito. Patrick Tito Tupolot. Okay. Tito? Yeah. What's Kevin's <laughs> middle name, Patrick? Gerald. Gerald? Middle names are usually embarrassing names like that. Close. Ooh. Junior or Gerald? Gerald. Gerald. So what is Gerald? It's close. It's Filippo. Ooh. Oh, oh F and G. <laughs> F, F and G. Oh, okay. Well, guys, you are good mates. Hopefully, you learnt a little bit more about one another. We'll see you next time on Meet My Mate. Both my older brothers were good rugby players, so my parents thought I'd be an All Black. Only if I could kick, catch, pass, tackle, pretty much all the fundamentals, put my mouth guard in properly, could have gone all the way. Hi, my name's Izzy. Izzy. Izzy Dang. And this is Rugby X Skills with Izzy Dag. First, I'm going to need some helpers. Kia ora, my name is Anahira. Kia ora, my name is Ecclesiastes. Kia ora, my name is Abraham. Hi, my name is Connor. Let's go. OK, kids, this one's called the bunny tail catch. So it's done. Bang, like that. Give it a go. With the bunny tail catch, you throw the ball over Ooh, your head and catch nice. it behind your back. Yeah, nice, Connor. It has an official difficulty rating of two. The key points are, hold the ball in two hands in front of you, throw the ball over your head, catch the ball in two hands behind your back. Pro level, try doing it one-handed. Oh, come on, I need some energy, all right? Bunny tail catch on three. One, two, three. Bunny tail catch! I like kicking the ball over the post. I like rugby because I like running around a lot and chasing the ball. Because it's fun and you get to travel out of town. Um, I like rugby because I like scrum tries. Rugby. 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 Rugby is what we do. Sonny, shh, listen to me. Don't talk. What's with the one-handed passes, mate? Two hands on the ball at all times. Yeah. Mate, I'm Tongan. I know what I'm talking about. You tell your coach to call me and I'll tell him what's up. Yeah, all right. Wait, I'll call you back. Speaking of coaches, let's go to Coach Tuffy's boot camp. Still there? My name's Clive Tufter. Kids call me Tuffy. 
And this is the pre-season training for the legendary St. McCaws Primary First 15. This is where we lay the platform for another winning season. Winning season. OK, so today we're going to play a game about trusting your teammates. Trust. Now, who can tell me why it's important that you trust your teammates? Because they are friends. Good answer, but not the one I'm looking for. We want to trust our teammates so that we know that they're there when we need them on the park, so that they don't let us down in battle. All right, so what I'm going to get you to do is stand up in two lines. You're going to have back to face, and then one of you is going to fall back into the arms of the other who's going to catch you, and why? Because of trust. Trust. All right, clear as mud, up you get. I definitely trust my teammates more than I trust my sisters. They borrow my clothes, then ruin them. And when my brothers play rugby in the lounge of break stuff, they play me. Trust. 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 Oh, I don't know. He looks kind of heavy. Trust, Thomas. Trust. The team can't function without trusting their teammates. They have to know they'll be with them in the trenches when the going gets tough. Never leave a man behind. Never. Never. That's what I said. Oh, my arm. That looks real bad. That bruise is going to take forever to come out. Audrey, get the ice. I'll get the ice, coach. I'm not going to make it. You'll be all right, son. There's still a few weeks till the season starts. You'll heal. Audrey, get the ice! Medic! Hey, guys, just hold up. I'm just texting my man, Bowden. Man, my fingers are so big. Push two letters in. Hey, how do you spell dummy? Yep, gotcha. N U A. Yeah. <laughs> You're a joker, mate. <laughs> How do you spell tummy pup? How do you spell it? Don't listen. Right, today, guys, we're going to talk about mind over matter. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to figure that out, but I actually think it's one of the most important things. Yep, running around and getting strong and, and fit is all important, but actually, what, how you think about it, I think, is really key to being uh, ready to go to play rugby. Because you know when sometimes You've got to go for a run and you feel a bit tired and you feel like, I don't know whether I can be really bothered. So it's the mind that tells you you want to go. And I always think about when I'm going to go running that if I want to keep up the opposition and try and beat them on Saturday, I want to be fitter than them. I know that when I've done the hard work, I really enjoy my rugby a lot more. When there's no petrol left in the tank, but you just keep going and you make it home or make it through the training session, it means on Saturday, you know when you get really puffed or it gets really hard, you know how to handle that and uh, just keep going, which I think is really important. I believe if you take shortcuts at training, if you just give up, then that's what you'll do in a game. And then you let everybody down. The All Blacks win a lot of games because of two things. We're fitter than the other team, and we never give up until the final whistle is 100%. An example, I guess, Junior, is when you were doing the, uh, the planking. You know, when you got really tough and you started shaking, did you feel like giving up? Yes. Yeah, but you carried on, eh? So you know for next time you can do a little bit more. And that'll help you on Saturday when it gets really tough out in the field. You can just do that little bit more, eh? That about sums up the uh, mind over matter one. So what do we do at the end of a, a session? Run. We go run, and sometimes we don't really feel like it, eh? But that's when mind over matter counts, OK? So let's go. small black. I was running down the sideline and everyone was yelling. I was sure I was going to make it, but I got tackled and knocked it on. My mum said I needed my taringas washed out. Funny how, pass the ball can sound like, keep going Dan.